disease a trout, and this is the common name for a number of species of freshwater fish belonging to the subclass Osectis, class Actinopterygii, infraclass Teleost, genera Oncorhynchus salmo and salvelinus, and the family Salmonidae. At first, we begin with the description of the external anatomy. And in particular, we can see the pectoral fin, the pelvic fin, the pelvic fin in detail, the anal fin, the dorsal fin, and the adipose fin. In the caudal portion of the fish, we can observe the caudal fin. The epidermis of this fish contains many mucous glands, and we can observe also the lateral line that senses movement around the throat. Regarding the cranial portion, we can see the eye, the nostrils, the presence of the operculum that protects the gills or a gill cover and the gill filaments of the emi branch. We can describe also the mouth and we can see the tongue and the lower job called chive. Now we can observe also the upper jaw and the teeth of this fish that are sharp and needle-like which they use to crab their prey. This is in detail the teeth of the trout. We can observe also in the tails in the nostrils the presence of the olfactory rosettes. Now we can observe in the ventral portion of the fish the presence of the vent. Now we are ready to cut the trout open beginning at the vent and we can open the fish from the vent to the throat. But do not cut too deeply or the internal organs will be damaged. We proceed with the dissection. After the dissection, we can describe the art, which is very close to the gills, the presence of the intestines, all intestines, And we want to observe also the presence of the swim bladder or a bladder. This is the intestines. And the presence of under the, the stomach the presence of the gonads not completely differentiated and the pyloric seca 
in communication with the stomach. The stomach is defined a dilated U-shaped section of the digestive tract located between the esophagus and the intestine. This is the liver. And we can observe under the liver the presence of the gallbladder. In detail, the gallbladder. It's most important the swim bladder and under the swim bladder we can observe the kidney. Now we can show the presence of the gonad, not to differentiate. Now we can describe in detail the swim bladder after removing the digestive tract and adhering to this letter we can observe the gonad not differentiate. The swim bladder is connected to the esophagus, allowing for gulping or rapid expulsion of air, a condition known as physostom. Unlike many other physostom fish, trout do not use their bladder as an auxiliary device for oxygen uptake, relying solely on their gills. Now we can remove the swim or air bladder to observe with attention the kidney. We can show in the tail the kidney. Now, this is the gastrointestinal or digestive tract. In particular, we can see the stomach an U-shaped section of the digestive tract located between the esophagus and the intestine. This is the liver with the presence of the gallbladder. This is the, another view of the stomach. and the presence of the pyloric seca, the finger-like structures that extend from the stomach. The pyloric seca secrete the digestive enzymes required to digest some food. These are the numerous P 
pyloric sac located near the stomach and pyloric sac finger-like aspect. This is the spleen. The spleen is defined dark red disc shaped organ located between the funding stomach and the swim bladder and it is attached to the hepatic portal vein. This is the art yet in situ and now we remove the art. The art, in particular, is a muscular two-chambered organ that is primarily responsible for circulating blood and this is the bulbus arteriosus on the left side. We can observe the kidney in detail isolated from the rest of the, the organ. Now we can see the gills. Each gill supports two rows of filaments and filaments of one row constitute the hemibranches and the two hemibranches of the gill arch form the hollow branch. The throat is a four-paired olive branch. The role of the gills are to optimize the exchange of the solvent gases between the water and the blood of the fish.